Okay, seven. Yeah. And then underneath that was leukocytic plastic uh, vasculitis, just as like a reactive phenomenon. So I saw like nuclear debris, mm -hmm. RBC extravasation, some fibrin deposition, and then expanded vessel wall. So a really nice LCD. Yeah. If you didn't see the, the massive tick sitting on the skin surface, and I, I love when you get the biopsy with the tick still embedded. You can, and I'm not an uh, entomologist, so I don't know all the tick parts, but it's kind of like a world within a world to go see this, you know, thing that's biting the human skin and see it's got its its own different organs. And, and you can see like it's, a, it's skeletal muscle. If you look closely, you can see little, little muscle bundles in here and some other stuff. I don't know what all of it is, but it's kind of wild. And then the wall is sometimes, some parts of it are pink and some parts of this yellow stuff we call chitin, right? C-H-I-T-I-N, chitin is in the exoskeleton of a lot of arthropods or maybe i guess probably all arthropods and then here's the tick mouth part so a lot of times what we see on a punch of a retained tick mouth parts we see arthropod bite reaction changes and just a little fragment or cross section of one of these embedded down in the dermis so anytime i see this yellow chitin stuff in the dermis probably a tick mouth part i imagine that a, a stinger from a bee or a wasp embedded would look the same but i don't think i've ever seen someone biopsy one of those but if you ever happen to for some reason, find one of those that are biopsy it. Please send me a recut because I've never seen what a bee stinger looks like, but I imagine it might have some overlap with this. Um, and if you're watching this on YouTube, please send me a picture. Thanks. And I think it, I'm glad you noticed that because it'd be easy to just say, oh, tick, cool, and then move on to the next case. But, but the nice thing that we can learn from this is that you can sometimes see leukocytoclastic vasculitis and fibrin thrombi and or fibrin thrombi in association with arthropod bites tick bites, also with scabies. Scabies can have the same kind of thing. It can have fibrin thrombi in the setting of scabies. So um, we wrote a paper about that actually my partner, Sarah Shalin, from my former uh, practice. Uh, she first picked that up on a biopsy of a kid and saw fibrin thrombi and was like, well, maybe this kid has a coagulopathy. And they said, now the kid's gone home, they're fine. And turns out the kid had scabies. We just didn't see the organism. Then she started looking at other cases and lo and behold, fibrin thrombi are present under scabies pretty often actually. So in any case, it's a nice little clue. But yeah, the the this is a, a lot of fibrin thrombi here underneath this tick bite. Pretty cool.